Hey, uh, welcome back to The Morning Brew. I'm Larry Ahrens. This is Amber Hendren. Good morning. Good Hello. Morning. Hi, everyone. We were just discussing whether or not we would put our own homes on a home tour. Only if I was trying to sell it. And, yeah. I, and I did that, and it, it didn't work out. I so, really didn't enjoy that process very much. Thank goodness there are homeowners who, A, have gorgeous homes, and B, are willing to put them out on a mm -hmm. home tour. I like home tours. I like going to these. Mm -hmm. So let me introduce our guests today, uh, Tracy Small is uh, with us today. Uh, she's a board member of the CFF, we'll tell you what that is, and a uh, committee member of the Corrales Home Tour and the Corrales Future Fund, we'll talk about that. And Ann Taylor's here. Um, she's an owner broker with Corrales Realty and uh, also on the organizing effort for the Corrales Home Tour, which is coming up when? When is it happening, Ann? September 14th. Nice. It'll be from 10 till 4. Welcome to the show, by the way. You yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We're happy um, to be here. There's some beautiful homes in Corrales. Thank you. Yes. And uh, you're going to open the doors to a lot of them at, at this event. Mm -hmm. and we're going to show some pictures here as we go. Do you like home tours, Amber? Oh, yes. I yeah. love them. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm such a voyeur, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> and yeah, you get a lot of yeah. ideas, a lot of inspiration, yeah. and you it's do. a great escape. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tour other people's houses, see what they have in there and how they decorate and so all So how many that. homes uh, are you having this year? Well, there's six. There's Good. six and Good. they vary in, in uh, architecture and uh, I think Anne knows a little bit more about the home specifically because she was on the search committee that helped select oh. them. Oh, that's yeah. got to be a fun mm -hmm. job. That was mm -hmm. really fun. That, that's a lot of fun to be able to go see a lot of different homes and then um, choose that we, uh, we try to have variety so that all the houses are different and we do and uh, find the ones that we think will be really interesting to the public and, uh, and show Corrales off as well. So this home tour has an altruistic essence and behind that is the Corrales Future Fund. Mm -hmm. Can Correct. we talk about the yes. Future Fund and what, what, that, what that money provides? Sure. Um, the Corrales Future Fund is an endowment fund that was formed in 2008 when it was determined that the village of Corrales wouldn't um, continue to get the, enough tax revenue to fund special projects over time. So a group of citizens came together and formed this fund with the purpose of um, reaching a million dollars eventually and then using the proceeds of that to fund special projects within the village. So one of the things they've done recently, they weren't able to fund it in its entirety, but they did help raise money for a new rescue vehicle. So it's projects like that that we're talking about funding in the future. Wonderful idea. That mm -hmm. is. Yeah. So it's not I'm like glad. you're just opening your house. You, you obviously have a calling. Like, okay, because it takes a lot of commitment from the homeowners to prepare their home for this kind of, I mean, you have to move all your personal items out of the way. You have to really set your house and set it up in a nice way that it'll show. Right, because the difference is these are owner-occupied mm -hmm. homes. These aren't empty, so these... And they're not for know. sale. Right. That's right. Yeah, so mm -hmm. these people have been very generous to open up their homes to us. Well, that's wonderful. Um, when, when does tour start? Give us some details on how you find the houses and where you go and all of that. Well, when you purchase your ticket, you will be given a map that will... Um, give you the locations of the six different homes and you're welcome to start at any home that you like and that the first home you go to you will be given a booklet that contains all the descriptions and stuff mm -hmm. about all the homes so all the details and stuff are in there as well as information about our generous sponsors we've had many of the local businesses and stuff contribute to this cause as well so they're all noted in there too and it's such a nice village mm -hmm. it, it is. is such a beautiful getaway sure is it's like going out of town mm -hmm. somewhere. It's like a mini vacation. Yeah, it really is. Um, the Future Fund, this is a great idea because th these are people in the community that took matters in their own hands mm -hmm. and decided we want to we want to do something. Has the fund been around a long time and how, how has it been growing? Well, it started in 2008, so oh. a lot of it has been organization up to this point. It is managed by the Albuquerque Community Foundation and Good. we're grateful for that. And um, it's at a right about fifty thousand dollars right now. So this is nice. the beginning of this is our endowment building stage. Uh -huh. So this home tour is not only um, helping to add some funds to it, but to increase awareness of who we are as well. Beautiful. Wonderful. So Anne, I would love to kind of go through some of the photos that you brought of the different s styles of homes and the different homes that are going to be on the tour. Would you do that for us? Absolutely. Let's um, take a look. 
This home is um, a really nice uh, home that has gardens uh, surrounding it. This actually was on our garden tour. Um, it was built by a well-known builder, Bill Reynolds, and um, has a lot of slate stacked stone in it. And the owner has uh, wonderful international and regional art collections. So mm -hmm. uh, it makes it quite interesting. Okay, and we have another photo with some really interesting chandeliers and light fixtures. <laughs> wow, <laughs> spoons. Okay, <here's> <laughs> oh, whoa. And this horse. house is fun. Um, this is an authentic adobe. Uh, that the people have taken and decorated in their own colors and styles. And they have a lot of art, too, and have brought a lot of color and New Mexico um, style to their home. Mm. Um, they have one wall in their home that um, is uh, Mexican sombreros that is a great collection uh, of different sombreros. Mm. They have a flying pig a chandelier in their oh, kitchen. Cool. They that must love Pink fun. Floyd or something. <laughs> yeah, just, it's really fun. And the house is beautiful. The views are beautiful. But it, uh, they have a great art collection, too. Wonderful. Right. We've got a couple more photos here. No. Uh, <laughs> this is fun. In this house, um, the owner has, um, as you can see, a dog bath. Um, um, people are getting so um, oriented toward uh, animals and care of animals. And so we have to mm. this house where the dog is, mm -hmm. has a catio with it. Mm. And that is a new trend in houses that across the nation that people are picking up on. And it's so that cats can go outdoors but be protected. And in a place like Corrales, that's really important because we have a lot of predators such as coyotes. Sure. So we have the one house that has a warm dog bath for their dog and another house that has a catio so the cat can go outside and be without safe. Being, be, without being lunch. Yes. Uh -huh. So it makes Wonderful. it quite interesting to see these. See things. what I mean about the ideas that you get? Yeah. These creative, yeah. and they're, they're beautiful and stunning architecturally, but a wall of sombreros, you know, that's cool. It's such a neat a chandelier made of um, utensils. Flying pigs. And, and, and flying pig. utensils. They also have the utensil <laughs> chandelier in their house, too. And this is, we're just touching the surface here, so uh -huh. on this tour, it's going to be something really that you can really talk about See a later. lot more. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you can make this a whole day, you know, go out there, see the homes, have lunch, or stay for dinner and Do Corrales some shopping. Go shopping, do all this stuff. Wine. Just make it a day. And that's what we hope yeah. you'll do. Yes. Yeah, exactly. that's great. What a great idea. So the event is September 14th. It goes from 10 in the morning till 4 p.m. Self-guided tour of six homes. Uh, the, the ticket price is uh, $20 in advance, $25 if you just show up. And, um, and you'll be supporting the Corrales Future Fund. Yes, exactly. Wonderful yes, idea. we will have tents on Corrales Road the day of, so the tickets will be $25 on that day. And you okay. can stop by either tent. Otherwise, you can order them online till the end of the month through our website, CorralesFutureFund.org. Or you can um, stop. We have six uh, local businesses between the Albuquerque, in the Albuquerque metro area that are selling tickets for us as well. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. What a great way to spend your Saturday, too. Mm -hmm. You know, you get a nice little walk, get inspired. Mm -hmm. Well, Sunday, but you can oh, come Sunday. on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get this girl? Get her out of here. <laughs> no, it's okay. Sunday. Come both days. Sunday. Yeah, yeah on Good Saturday, I'm days. afraid y'all put me to work. Yeah, yeah. 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 you can say, you can help us put up signs <laughs> 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 Put up balloons. <laughs> great idea, guys. Thank you very much. Ann, great to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People go out and support this. Good people in Corrales doing a nice job. Corrales Home Tour Sunday, September 14th. The morning group. Don't show up on Saturday. No, don't. <laughs> Amber will be there on Saturday. With no. my work boots, gloves. Yep. Uh, we'll be right back with more Morning Brew right after this. <laughs>